We might as well make a recording of this because I feel like this is something that needs to get discussed a little bit. For the most part, impression wise, for this patch, I feel like they're doing a lot of things right. The the majority of the stuff that these guys have been iterating on with their balance changes and whatnot, I think has been pretty good. The Warlock nerfs were completely justifiable, but I don't feel like they were excessive. A lot of people still say the Warlock is too strong. In some regard, I can see that with like guys spamming curses and stuff when you start stacking true damage. But in that regard, I think that wizards are kind of like in that same boat with with zap and stacking like a whole bunch of of damage stuff the uh the additional stash tab stuff for for extra money 15 and 20k i think is good but the the quest stuff so quality like things that i would like to see changed like quality of life wise when you're in a run i'd like to see there be like a tab or something that you can reference when you're looking at your inventory or whatever that's you know collapsible where you could see like what your quest list is and your progress on them as opposed to just trying to memorize like the six things that you're supposed to be looking for at the same time if they could i'd like to see there be like some type of implemented ui element so that you could have like a like a tracked quest list like on the screen although i think that that might be like a little bit too much even just something where you could like just go into a menu just just going to your inventory screen and having a quest list would be good enough for me. And, and like from the Tarkov sense, right? Like if you're looking in your inventory, you're distracted, you're, you know, trying to find stuff or whatever. I find that to be like totally fine. It adds an element of risk when you're like trying to double check your stuff. You can end up getting schwapped by people if you're if you're caught lacking, you know, um, looking in your own inventory. But I, I'd like to see that. And like the other thing is like with the mining nodes, especially there is there is like this this major issue with the mining node stuff right now like if you want to get cobalt and copper primarily it's it's goblin caves and it's like one room in goblin caves it's the it's the solo like the single bridge room with the with the one bowl of dude in the middle of the bridge or the archer in the middle of the bridge depending on which spawn you get it's a it's a huge pain in the ass and then in the case of like ruby silver and gold it's the one spider room in the southwest corner of inferno uh, on the threes map and that's the only place that you're going to find them uh, and it's a huge pain because the the game loop just to get those things mined, much less try and get out, the, the game loop to get to that is like a solid 20 minutes just to get to the point where you could mine it in most cases, right? Because you've got, you've got the 13 or so minutes that you play on crypts and then you have to get down to Inferno and then, uh, and then mine those nodes after you clear the room out. If you spawn on the opposite side of the map, then you're trying to traverse like through the boss room and shit, trying to get down there and like loot it all. And it's, it's a huge pain in the ass. Ruby Cobalt are found in the GC4 elevators room as well. Right. Yeah. So, but rarely. Rarely though, uh, I don't see it like all that often. You can you can do the uh, you can go down like the the four elevators room and there's there's a there's a couple of nodes down there, but it's like not common. You know, it's like possible, but not common, I guess, is the, is the the best way I can put it. But especially in the case of gold, like the weaponsmith, right? Weaponsmith, like first first task of his second group, first mission of his second group is to go and get six gold ore. The only way you're doing that is going down to Inferno on threes and then getting to the spider room. Like that's the only place that I'm aware of, unless unless I'm, I can be corrected. That's the only place that I'm aware of that has it, right? Yeah, you can do it in normals. Absolutely, you can do it in normals. But what most people do is they spam normals trying to get to it. And and unless you're like, uh, in, no, in, you know, unless you're like a highly mobile class and in mostly rogues, you're not getting there easily. You know what I mean? Like yesterday, I spent like the better part of like three and a half hours just grabbing a mining pick and wor trying to work my way down there. Uh, I gained seven levels. <laughs> Just trying to like spamming normals, just trying to get down to uh, Inferno for Spider. And with the, between the competition in, in PvP, right? Between the competition in PvP and then just getting shit spawns and not ending up over there, it, it feels very RNG. I would rather I would rather be farming like old wolves for pelts <laughs> at this point than trying to get down there to get gold. Like just at least then it's something that I could like work toward instead of like a 20 minute loop, 25 minute loop with with load in times and everything only only to get cocked by somebody that already got it or you run into a three man that spawned there. Or, you know what I mean? It's just it's just a pain. It, it, it feels like there should be more nodes, right? Like you could easily counteract this by having the mining nodes be more abundant, but just make the crafting stuff 
um, more costly again like it was before. The entire point of them like reducing the cost of like generating ingots and, and dust was because of the RNG of creating the recipes that that stuff was made for, right? Like that's that was the whole idea behind it. Uh, making the nodes more rare just like counteracts the changes that they had made because now it's like, well, now it's complete RNG to get the gear that you could craft with it to begin with. And on top of that, it's like, well, now they, and then they made it more rare because they're, I don't know, trying to prop up the value of the of the stuff, I guess, in a way. But I, I don't know, man. Like to me, it just feels like it's, uh, it, it's it, it feels like the old drop rates for the for this stuff right like it, it i might as well be going for a centaur hoof because the likelihood that i'm gonna actually get down there to like mine gold or mine ruby silver is about like the same rate of speed as me trying to get a, a hoof off the centaur from last patch so i don't know but yeah i'd like to see i'd like to see them do something about like the the ore node spawns because it, it didn't feel like it was all that bad before like it was fine and i don't know plus like we don't even have the crafting recipes to use right now anyway Right? Like, people don't have ruby silver crafts. Maybe in another week, like when the next group of quests come out, maybe it'll, because it looks like it's on a rotation. Like, it's kind of like the armor guys, and, and everybody else has like one week, and then they give us like a week where it's like weapons and armor. So, like, maybe next week we'll be able to like build into the, the purple stuff. But right now, it's like, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like there's, uh, there's a need to have it be so rare because the only reason why people are even mining it is to sell it on the market or make quests out of it or or they're stockpiling ingots and dust for like when the crafting recipes become available you know i'm glad to see i'm not the only one stuck on gold ore i've gone down a hell of a 13 times in the past three days i've written down and i haven't seen that spider room with gold once yeah so the the gold spawn in the spider room is kind of rare uh it doesn't it doesn't come up all that often so the, yeah i mean like you have to get to the room and then you have the rng of the gold ore even showing up in the first place the one thing that they did do well is that they like doubled the yield of those nodes so instead of getting like two or three pulls off of it in normals you're getting six so at least then when you get like that you know that that opportunity to finally be able to mine it you're getting enough to be able to like finish the quest so th there's that like little bit at the very least it gold still only pulls like two to three in normals yeah so well there you go so and then you need to get extra so yeah it just it seems like a slog man unless unless you have like a really accomplished three man and you're just able to like clear lobbies get down there and like get it done quick you're gonna have problems is what it kind of feels like right and that's if you don't get contested exactly exactly but you do right because everyone is trying to do the exact same thing you are so now there's like there's like this this uh supply and demand right like there's no supply and there's shit ton of demand so you have all of these guys that are like literally just flocking to that corner and then it, for the guys that were there first that mine it then you have to like do this whole like major defense thing it's a bigger pain in the ass than trying to just get the boss I would rather go bossing. Just just spam kill bosses. It would be it would be way more enjoyable, you know? <clears throat> the drop rates feel pretty good. Like in normals though. Like in general for getting gear or whatever. They don't they don't feel awful. The the loot abundance in normals feels pretty good. A lot of people are are pretty happy with that, I guess at least, which is kind of nice. The drip stuff that they're doing with uh with the quests every week doesn't feel like forced most people don't seem to be complaining about it in other in other games it feels like it, it had felt like the quests that would get generated people would just kind of like thoom through them and they'd be done and over with and they'd be like all right now what this is annoying like why can't i just have like more content but i haven't really seen a lot of people like complaining about that it seems like the uh the drip feed that they're doing at least for this community is working out pretty well most people don't act like they're very uh annoyed with it which i, I suppose is good i prefer the quest to be challenging well, so like, I don't know how to put this. Like, this is kind of like the, the common theme with most games that do this kind of stuff is the challenges in the time that needs to get spent to do them. It's not like, like OG Tarkov, right? Like OG Tarkov, when they first implemented like the questing system, it was like, uh, there were quests that were like, get 12 PMC kills in three hours or two hours or whatever. Like there was stuff that was time gated. And if you failed, you had to start over, you know, those kinds of things were hard. These kinds of things, what they've provided with us now and what Tarkov does now is like, it's really just, it's not difficult, it's time consuming, right? Like you, you throw, you throw yourself against the, the quest enough times, eventually you will succeed, right? The guys that are better at the game do that a little bit more efficiently, like they get them done sooner, faster, whatever. But there are, there's no reason why like anyone in this, in this game couldn't complete one of these quests if they just did it enough time right so the frustrating aspect of this is how much time does it take for a person to get it done not whether or not it's like hard you know but that's a, you know that's that's common theme that's kind of like how quests get generated now for games like this it's just how they are yeah it's time not challenge right and it, it makes it makes sense right like 
you give people things that are achievable. You don't have to be a, a god at the game in order to be able to like complete a quest that gets handed to you. You know, that kind of makes sense. I will say, like, one of the things that I've found to be like a little bit frustrating is with with certain quests like like the mining ones and uh, and a couple of others, where it feels like the the some of the quests like like Leathersmith, like like these two, you know, you then you get to like fifty because it's it's kind of like <clears throat> every other quest that you finish kind of gives you like another shot of rep. So like this kind of stuff, it's just like, all right, well, I just have to go to Frost and kill crossbow guys on HR. Well, that's easy, you know? And they don't show up all that often. I just have to, like, go to the spots where they spawn. No big deal. In, like, Goblin Prisons, eh? Like, this shit is easy as hell, you know? Like, I'm I'm boosting the, the shit out of the Squire by just doing, like, ultra-mundane, like, simple stuff. Versus, like, the Armorer is like, all right, well, I need you to get six Cobalt, and then I need you to get six Ruby Silver. Okay, so if I wear plate, like, I'm kind of fucked. <laughs> Because I could I could wear plate or I could go buy some copper and make some copper light stuff um, that's going to cost me about like, I don't know, a thousand gold on max to get the materials to do it. And then, you know, go go RNG, kill bards and rangers, basically just play the game anyway. So I can like make money passively and like hunt people or I have to like throw my body against the game and try and see if I can go find cobalt and uh, and ruby silver instead. You know, like it just seems like odd. Why like one one set of like quests would be so much easier to accomplish versus like this <laughs> when there's like so much more competition for it. Yeah, buy the copper light pieces, 900 gold for the top and bottom each. Right. Or you could buy the copper and craft it and it's significantly less expensive. Either way, it doesn't matter. Like you can still get it done. Can you explain how to level up rep with the squire? You, uh, it's it's what you do with the other vendors. The the squire is just reflective of what the other vendor reps are. For instance, like this guy has he's he's at neutral, so he's got like a gray magic staff, gray spell book, gray crystal sword, always right. So if you go to the squire and you go to base gear and and look at poor stuff, like what he has in his inventory is what you have access to, and it looks like it's one tier below whatever amount of rep you've like unlocked. So when I when I get to the point on the alchemist where I've unlocked like green quality stuff, then this guy will have white stuff like quality wise from whatever the alchemist sells that I can wear. If that makes sense. All mining should be one quest, not three different ones locking out a bunch of stuff. I mean, I'm I'm fine with it being three different quests. I just feel like that kind of like if they're gonna do that, then the the likelihood that you're going to complete this quest where you have to kill five warlocks and five wizards should be equivalent to the likelihood of you getting down to Inferno and finding six ruby silver and six gold right and it, this i would argue is it, like from an rng standpoint is much more likely statistically to be completed first than the other you know or, or the same thing with the tailor right like all right i gotta i gotta go to inferno and kill npcs like that's darn right or kill five bards and five rangers like this is going to take me a little while but I, i'm willing to bet i'll finish this one before i get to the ore you know and it, like maybe there's people that are capable of getting the ore first whatever like that's great i would also argue though that those people are typically the ones that would play more passively and their like objective is to like work their way around stuff and like get to wherever the ore is to get it mined in the first place you know and i'm just talking about like just playing the game in general like if i just got with a with a group or ran by myself or whatever and i was just like adventuring and was like oh i gotta get some ore while i'm out you know like i'm going to the grocery store let's see what there is to see uh, i would argue that the there's just like the rng of pvp encounters would be much more abundant than going and finding the ore when it's only in one spot on one map you know what i mean able to get ore done early before everyone started rushing the modules well yeah i'm not i mean i'm i'm not necessarily talking about like like the people that are able to be like the early adopters i'm not necessarily talking about that i just mean like general player general player base right like when there is competition because right now there's competition for all this stuff at the same time yeah because it's been a few days so i don't know yeah if i had to do it now it'd be rough like that's the whole point i've done the or quest except gold i need one more but the kill five bards unless i'm playing solo my friends will kill the bard that a rare AF to find is also a pain. Yeah. So, like, in, in my case, I'm just playing solo on threes because there's a higher likelihood of finding people. And then I'm just bum-rushing whatever it is that I need to kill. <laughs> it, and seeing if I can get them dead before I go out. And I've had some pretty good success with it so far. It's just a matter of uh, of repetition. In the, case of, in the case of the ore spawns, though, whether I'm playing for that or not, like, I could wrap my ass off. But getting down into Inferno is not the challenge it's getting across the inferno map if i spawn in like the opposite corner 
It's getting across the Inferno map to get to that room and then hope to God somebody hasn't like beat me to the punch or like somebody doesn't come in behind me and you know what I mean? Like it's it's a it's it's a pain in the balls. And then it, you know, if you go in with teammates, then your teammates need the same shit and there's not enough to go around. So it's like, all right, well, if I need three people like decked out and like the gold spawn is already rare and I get two to three at max off of hitting it. Then it's like, all right, well, we got to run this like 25 times to get everyone decked. And that's if we successfully get down there every single run. And in HR, unless you're like literally the big dick on campus, that's unlikely to happen. And in normals, normals is normals. A lot of people don't want to run that that much. And I don't blame them. I mean, you're not really getting that far ahead with it. You're getting some treasures and, you know. So it's, a, it's kind of like a solo run thing. You kind of like have to grind it on your own because you don't really want to drag people along with you to do that. I mean, like, with a group of threes. Sorry, it shows. Oh, two of us still haven't been done collecting the ores. I've been trying since it came out. Jesus, damn. Yeah, see? Like, that's, it's too low. That's too low. It should be, it needs to be higher than that. That's too low. Otherwise, otherwise, I feel like the patch did pretty good, man, so far. I mean, uh, HR battles have been fun, you know? When uh, when we get teams together, it's been a good time. Yeah, for the, mo for the most part, I'm having a lot of fun with the patch. I mean... I don't I don't have a lot to complain about. It's really just like the uh, the RNG of quest stuff that's been a little bit frustrating. Oh yeah, the 15 stone tombs. Yeah. Yeah, that one is a pain in the ass too. Well then there's a there's a bug on one of the quests too with uh with the shrines. Like the like having to get the three shrines. They got to fix that one cuz it's like it's buggy. People aren't getting credit for it. Yeah. Yeah, it's been it's bugged and it, like SDF knows it. I I notified him of it um uh, I don't know, let's see. Few, th two days ago. Like a little bit after the patch came out. I had to do it twice. First one was bugged. Oh, so maybe they maybe they fixed it and it is working now. They might have they might have done something on the back end just didn't need to announce it. Maybe it was just some variable, like, switch they had to throw. I don't know. Finished Surge Quest Kit and come out. Uh, Surge Kit Addict after doing them all in one game. Yeah, I bought... Yeah, that was the other one that was kind of weird. Like, you had to go into... You had to go into threes... Right, if you bought the surge kits, like the the lowest level surge kit is green, so you have to go in HR. So you go in HR, stack in seven surge kits, and then like hurt yourself on purpose just so that you can like spam use a surge kit. So it's like you would find like a floor trap or a wall trap, let it stab you, and then just hit the surge kit seven times. Yeah, well, they, yeah, when I when I went to buy them, they didn't have any white kits on the market. I had to buy green ones and go in HR and do it. You don't need to take damage. Oh, you can just use them. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah, so you would go you would go into, uh, well, depending on the quality kit, right? So in my case, I had to buy seven green ones because there weren't any white ones on the market. So I bought seven green kits, and then I went into HR. I ran into a, and the first mob that I ran into was a Nightmare Axe Skeleton. That almost killed me. And then I pulled I pulled a Nightmare Axe Skeleton and two, elite, two elites, a Spear Skeleton and another Axe Skeleton. And then, uh, and then ended up getting hit by him. Oh, it was, it was cued. A donation from the devoted. There. Ow. It's at max speed now, yeah. Ow. I gotta turn the other bot on. Saying you dumbass. Ow.